Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the consistency of soil. In this lecture, we will talk about liquid limit, plastic limit, and shrinkage limit in detail. We will also know the some practical application of these limits. So let us begin. It is presented by the Atterberg limit. So this consistency of soil is a relative is with which soil can be deformed. So this term is used for the fine grain soil, especially for clay, and denotes the degree of firmness of this soil, which may be referred as soft, stiff, and hard. So this consistency is not defined for the coarse grain soil, such as gravel and sand. So this Atterberg limit can say that this consistency of the soil is relates to its water content. And water content at which soil passes from one stage of consistency to another stage of consistency is referred as the cons consistency limit or Atterberg limit. So let us understand these stages and limits within using these plots. So suppose we have a complete mix of fine grain soil with large quantity of water. So in this, the, the soil state is in liquid state. And in this case, no resistance to flow okay, of the soil is having no resistance to flow and it is having very less shear strength or negligible shear strength. When further reduction in the water content with uniform consistency, the soil offer resistance to flow and soil is in plastic state. So in this plastic state, soil can be molded with different shape and with different shape without rupturing it. Further reduction in the water content with uniform cons consistency, soil does not have any plasticity. It shows the brittle nature, and soil and soil is in the semi-solid state. Further reduction in the water content, soil begins to dry and soil is no longer fully saturated. So that represents the solid state. So here, from, from solid state to plastic state, there is some limit coming from the liquid state to plastic state. It's called the liquid limit. From plastic state to semi-solid state, plastic limit and semi-solid state to solid state shrink limit. So this is the so so this what it, it is denoting. So it is denoting the water content at which soil so this limits all these limits denotes the water content at which soil 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 at which soil passes from one stage of cons consistency to another stage of consistency. So this is called the utter value. Now, these are the plots showing the variation of the volume of the soil with respect to the water content. So these are the liquid limit, plastic limit, and shrinkage limit. So up to this shrinkage limit, reduction in the water content will have the linear variation of the volume of the soil. But below this shrinkage limit, any further reduction in the water content will not going to affect the volume of the soil. So this consistency limit of soil used for the soil classification and determination of other soil property also like compressibility, permeability and shear strength. Now here we will discuss about the liquid limit. So liquid limit is the minimum water content at which soil can flow, which we have discussed in the last slide. So this minimum water content at which part of soil cut by groove of a standard dimension flow together at a distance of 0.5 inch in exactly 25 number of blow. So clay minerals with large surface area have high liquid limit. So here we will understand experimentally how we will calculate the liquid limit. So this is the liquid limit operator. So here we will take the 120 gram of air dried soil passing through 4, 7, 425 micron C 
and mix with water. So we have paste. So, so this paste will be filled in this cup and uh, and after uh, placing it in, as per the Indian standard guideline, we will rotate this handle at two revolution per second and number of blows required to close the groove for a distance of 30 meter is noted. And remember that here groove should be groove should be closed by flow, not by the slippage. So this thing is important in this case. So uh, using this apparatus, so how we will cut the groove? There are two apparatus to cut the groove. Casa Grande tool and the STM tool. The STM tool is for low plasticity soil like silt. So uh, for other type of the soil, we will use the Casa Grande tool. So this in using this Casa Grande tool, we will cut the soil like this. And uh, after the test, this uh, this uh, soil sample will close together uh, like this. Now, so this is for here some this is for some amount of water content. Then we again mix some water. Then we again do the same procedure. Then we again note the number of blow. So for different different water content, we have different n values which we will plot. Uh, we will plot and we we will get the here flow curve, flow line. So here uh, this flow line is uh, this flow line. So the slope of this flow line is referred as the flow index, and it signifies the rate of loss of shear resistance of soil with increase in the water content. So that means the number of blow is directly proportional to the shear resistance. And using this uh, slope, from this slope we can write flow index is equal to W1 minus W2 and log 10 N2 minus log 10 N1 and this, this will be further this can be written like this. So here at two points we have. So once we have this line, then we choose the 25 number of blows and corresponding to 25 number of blows, we have some water content. So this water content shows the liquid limit. So if we have, uh, so uh, let, let us understand the two things. If we have two, two curve, two flow line, so which one is indicating the one and two, so two is having more shear strength because it is having the larger number of blows and this number of blows is directly proportional to the shear strength. Now empirically as per IS2720, liquid limit is determined using this expression and uh, liquid limit can be also used, can be also determined using the static cone penetration test which consists of the cone penetrometer having the central cone angle of 31 degree and total sliding mass is 80 gram. Cone penetrometer tool used for the low plastic soil. So this, this is the tools of cone penetrometer. So liquid limit in this test is taken as the minimum water content at which this cone penetrometer shows the penetration of 20 mm into the cylindrical mould of diameter and height is 5 mm. Now, come, coming to the plastic limit. So, in plastic limit, we will take the 15 gram of dry soil passing through IS 425 micron sieve and this will be mixed with the sufficient quantity of the water to become to become uh, plastic enough to easily shape into the ball. Then again, we have to make a thread of 3 mm diameter like this by rolling it in this manner and continue just start crumbling. So, so the what the the point you the point you will observe it is going to crumble. No, uh, take the soil sample at that point and then determine the water content. So this plastic limit is the minimum water content at which soil begins to crumble when rolled into the thread of 3 mm diameter. So if plastic limit WP is greater than liquid limit, then the soil represents the non-plastic soil. So this is the shear stress and shear strain, strain plot here. So for semi-solid, the, the shear, strain, shear stress will be higher. 
and for plastic slightly low and for liquid it is very negligible shear stress shear stress now let us discuss about the shrinkage limit so this shrinkage limit is defined as the maximum water content below which any reduction in the water content of soil has no effect over the volume of soil like below this shrinkage limit water is being replaced by the air of equal volume so this shrinkage limit is the minimum water content at which soil is completely separated this is useful for the expensive soil for dam construction where we will uh, understand how we will calculate the shrinkage limit so so when water content of the soil is greater than shrinkage limit so this is the mass and volume of this soil sample and the volume of the solid in the second stage when it reaches to the shrinkage limit so we have mass m2 and volume v2 so after this shrinkage limit when water content becomes zero the mass is md and volume is vd now shrinkage limit in this stage ws is the ratio of mass of water in second stage in this stage in second stage and mass of solid so uh, so this m1 minus md minus v1 minus vd into rho w this represents the mass of water in stage 2 if you will uh, see this uh, phase diagram and md is the mass of solid so here this term m1 minus md this term is the w1 and the remaining term can be written like this so shrinkage limit can be also can be written in this expression so this shrinkage limit ws is also uh, this shrinkage limit is the is, is written in terms of this like vd minus vs into rho w upon md so how how it will so here we total volume is vd and from this if, if we will subtract this vs and multiply with the multiply with the this zero w and total mass divided by mass so it will it can be written like this now this shrinkage limit so if if we will rearrange this term if we will rearrange this term like vd rho w upon md so it will represent gd and this vs rho w and md it will represent g where g is the specific gravity so from the specific gravity definition you can write these two terms so shrinkage limit is equal to one upon gd minus one upon g so for for any kind of dry soil it can be written like this so it can simplify in this expression so here what is the specific gravity gravity is the weight of solid to the weight, weight of water so md upon what is the weight of water is v1 into rho w for this volume v1 into rho w minus at this stage m uh, m1 minus md uh, this is the total volume at this stage if we will subtract the m1 minus md then we will get the weight of water so this expression v1 rho w minus m1 minus m represents the mass of water so specific gravity which can be calculated using this now shrinkage ratio so this shrinkage ratio is the rate of change of volume with change in the water content so it can be expressed as or it can be defined as the decrease in the volume of soil expressed in the percentage to the to the dry to the dry volume corresponding to the change in the water content so this change in the water content is water content is the mass of water divided by mass of solid so mass of water is the volume into uh, density so uh, so substitute this term in this equation so here we will get shrinkage ratio equal to this this term and by replacing this term here we have uh, this expression ms by vd divided by rho w so rho d by rho w so here shrinkage ratio is rho d by rho w and this can be written as gd mass specific gravity in dry state so uh, in the in the just previous slide we have seen 
स्प्रिंग के जरिए स्विच कल टू वन अपान जी डी माइनस वन अपान जी तो जस्ट जी डी इजकल टू एस आर सो रिप्लेस जी डी विथ एस आर तो सिंगल लिमिट इजकल टू वन अपान सिंग के जरिए इसकी माइनस वन अपान एक्स स्पीड गेट टू सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्सप्रेशन विच कैन बी यूज टू सॉल्व द वेरियस नंबर का नाउ वॉलोमेट्रिक सिंकेज दिस वॉलोमेट्रिक सिंकेज इज द डिफाइंड बाई वी एस इजकल वी एस इजकल टू वी वन माइनस वी डी अपान वी इन टू हंड्रेड एट सिंकेज लिमिट वी इजकल टू वी डी सो दिस सिंकेज रेशियो इन टर्म्स ऑफ द सिंकेज रेशियो वी कैन एक्सप्रेस तो सिंकेज रेशियो इजकल टू दिस वॉलोमेट्रिक सिंकेज डिवाइड बाई डब्ल्यू माइनस डब्ल्यू एन इट कैन बी फर्दर री रेटन लाइक दिस लीनियर सिंकेज ऑल्सो सो इज द डिक्रीज इन द वन डायमेंशन ऑफ द सॉयल so this expression denotes the linear sinkage uh, of the uh, soil now we will discuss about this consistency indices so property of the soil so what is the plasticity plasticity is the property of soil by virtue by virtue of which it undergoes the deformation without cracking rupturing and fracturing so this ip is equal to wn minus wp It is the difference of liquid limit minus plastic limit. If W P is greater than W L, then I P is equal to zero, and uh, for sand, it is possible. Consistency index is also known as the relative consistency and represented by I C. It is defined as the ratio of difference of the liquid limit of the solid and its natural water content to its plasticity index. So this I C is equal to W N minus W upon I P. And uh, this can be written W N minus W I P is equal to W N minus W P. So this consistency index represents the behavior of the behavior of the in situ fine grained saturated soil. So if I C will be greater, then degree of the fineness will be greater and consistency will be lesser. So this consistency, if consistency index is less than zero, soil must behave like a liquid upon distillation. If consistency is greater than one, then soil is in semi solid or Solid state that means it will represent the stiff or hard soil. So next is the liquidity index. It is represented by I L, and it denotes the water plasticity ratio. So this uh, liquidity index is equal to water content at natural state minus plastic limit divided by the plasticity index. So uh, so this can be written like this. So this liquidity index represents The behavior of the in situ fine grained saturated soil. So I C is equal to 0.5 if I C is equal to 0.25 for soil one, and I L is equal to 0.25 for soil two. So the degree of firmness is more for soil two. So this liquid liquidity index is having more significance. For the same I C and I L value, uh, we can uh, we can uh, utilize this I L liquidity index. Uh, to define the firmness of the soil il and ic are correlated consistency index and the liquidity index so il is equal to 1 minus ic for a soil in plastic range il can be vary from 0 to 1 this expression you can uh, you can verify this its uh, definition next is the toughness index toughness index is the ratio of the plasticity index and flow index So this toughness index represents the toughness or shear strength of soil at the plastic limit, and I T will be vary from zero to three. Next is the flow index. So this flow index is represented by I F, and it will say the it will represent the rate of loss of shear strength upon increasing the water content. Uh, so here, as we have discussed, this number of blow is related to the shear strength. So this This n value can be so. Uh, this is the this is the general definition of flow index. This is the expression of flow index. So here, if W n is equal to liquid liquid limit and W t is to the plastic limit, then replace these things here. So this can be I f is equal to W n W l minus W p upon log ten W n p of n p by n l, and uh, this will be I p. Then this. Uh, Yn is proportional to the shear strength, and in terms of shear strength, we can write it like this. Then If is equal to Ip upon this. Then If, then Ip divided by If. So from here to here, Ip divided by If is equal to log this this. So this will is the toughness index. So 
so uh, we can if we will know the shear strength of the soil and toughness index we can calculate the shear strength of the soil at plastic scale so uh, these are the some uh, definition when this toughness index is less than one then soil is stable that means easily crushed at plastic scale now sensitivity and thixotropy so the uh, so this sensitivity and thixotropy uh, we will understand here the decrease in the consistency of the soil is analyzed in the term of parameter referred as the sensitivity this sensitivity denotes the degree of disturbance of the undisturbed sample of soil upon remolding at the same water temperature so this sensitivity is the ratio of the unconfined compressive strength in the undisturbed state to the unconfined compressive strength in the remolded state it is a property of soil by virtue of which it is able to regain the property of uh, property of its lost strength so this so this phenomena or uh, this property is referred as the thixotropy so the thixotropy is the property of soil by virtue of which it is able to regain the part of its lost strength so based on the sensitivity and nature of the soil these are the some ranges you can refer and you can interpret what is the nature of the soil if it is if sensitivity is 4 to 8 then it is sensitive or if if it is greater than 16 then it is quick now we will discuss about the activity so is competent analyze the compressibility of the soil in terms of the parameter referred as the activity which defined as the ratio of the plasticity index of soil to the percentage of the particles present in it having the size less than 2 micron that means for clay so these are the range of activity and we will represent the type of soil so here if we plot the activity and the percentage of uh, and percentage of clay so the top top line represents the high activity high activity and and this lower one represents the inactive soil soil having higher value of the activity are not considered to be suitable for the foundation work further rough foundation or under dim piles are provided in the black water soil due to the large change in the volume in the water content next term is the collapsibility soil which shows the large decrease in the volume with increase in the water content at the same pressure are referred as the collapsible soil that is the example is the lewis soil so this collapsibility of soil is measured in terms of the parameter referred as the collapse potential which can be determined by the plate load test in the field so this collapsibility defined as the ratio of the decrease in the volume of the soil due to increase in the water content to the original volume of the soil so this collapsible potential is equal to change in the volume divided by the original volume delta is by is not delta is by 1 plus mm -hmm. so uh, so these are the few things about the consistency of soil the work limit we have we have understood and we have also seen some other property like thixotropy and uh, some application and uh, some like detailing about the various parameters so in the next lectures we will discuss about the classification of soil so let's meet in the next lecture thank you